Welcome back. It is Sunday sit down time with us now. The most special guest we could possibly have on the show. It's the mayor of Columbia, perhaps the mayor of Phoenix as well sometime soon. Sophie Cunningham needs no introduction from me. Sophie, uh, entering the third year in uh, the WNBA. We're so excited to have you on the show. How, how's it going? I know you're four games into the season and you're giving us some time. So I, I, I could be more thankful to have you on. Oh, my gosh. Well, thank you for having me. I miss Columbia. I miss seeing you. Um, shout out to Mizzou softball. Uh, I was I was doing some stuff today, but I had them in the background and they're having a fantastic year. And so uh, it's so exciting to see other Mizzou sports being successful. And so uh, I'm rooting for, for you down here. But no, I'm living my best life. I have been having so much fun down here. Our team is awesome. And um, honestly, I'm just really enjoying where I'm at. Well, you mentioned softball, so we'll, we'll start right there. The Antlers tweet out a photo of, of, of your mom. Can a picture with your mom at the softball game? What, what, what do you think of the Antlers, uh, you know, taking the photo with, with Paula? <laughs> she's the GOAT. I mean, I'm all the way down here in Phoenix, and she's still telling me what to do, what I need to, uh, who I need to be reaching out to. So she's kind of my momager. Uh, that's what I like to call her. But, uh, no, everyone loves my mom. She's the best. And, uh um, you know, of course, the antlers are going to ride that wave as long as possible, so I'm going to give it right back to them. <laughs> well, it's good to see the antlers at the Mizzou softball team supporting them just like they supported you all those years in Columbia. Well, you guys are off to a 2-2 two and two start this year, but, but your only two losses are to the top team right now in the WNBA in Connecticut. So how do you think the team's done so far uh, in 2021? Yeah, you know, um, a lot of us have to play overseas, and so during training camp, we actually didn't even have half of our team. Um, and we're actually still getting some players back. And so I think we're going to be really, really good this year. I think we have all the pieces that we need. Um, but now we just have to get that chemistry on the court. And it's hard when other people are in France right now and you have to go through quarantine. So there's actually people here, but they're not allowed to practice with us yet. Um, and so once we can actually practice as a team and gel in that aspect, we're going to be really good. And um, you know, we we had a we were on the road for our first three games, and for us to go two and one, um, it, I mean that's kind of a big deal in the WNBA. And so I think we're going to be good. Uh, but you know, Connecticut they're they're just a phenomenal team so far, and um, they they really didn't add anybody new. So it's kind of the team from last year. So they have a little bit of advantage over us. But I think down the road um, we're going to be a really uh, hopefully you know Final Four team in the in the playoffs. Where do you see yourself fit not fitting on this team? What is your role? Uh, now in your third season in the WNBA? Yeah, you know, um, I'm still trying to work it out because I don't even really know myself, but uh, I'm just someone who brings the energy. I, I don't take a, a play off. Um, uh, I'm kind of that dog, so I, I'm doing the dirty work, and uh, I'm all, I'm here for it. You know, I, I'm good at that. I'm, I'm good at doing that, and so uh, when I'm open, I got to shoot the ball and, and score it, but otherwise, I, I'm just an energy player, and um, just the spark off the bench, and, and I think that kind of suits me perfectly <laughs> for right now. Well, I think the TV life suits you perfectly as well, and you got to do a lot of that in the off season uh, with some some time off in between things. Uh, is that something you're going to continue to pursue? We're going to see you on the SEC Network, or or perhaps here at ABC 17 in the future. <laughs> hey, that's what I like to hear. Uh, you know, I don't know. I hope so. Um, I think COVID is just a really weird year, so I didn't go overseas. Um, and so it's just kind of an opportunity to get my foot in the door in that industry. Uh, I think when I'm done or when I'm not playing two seasons that I would love to do that. Uh, I, I think it's really fun. I think there's a lot of cool people. You get to interact with a lot of um, a lot of people who share, you know, the, the sports passion with me. And so it's fun to kind of bounce ideas off of. Uh, but we'll just have to see which way my career goes. I think when I'm done, done that I would I would love to pursue that for sure. So Arizona or Columbia, now that you've been there for three years, you probably have a little bit better opinion. <laughs> you know, I love them both. I, I love my people back home. Um, it, it's tough. Actually, when my uh, Allie Kreklo, she played volleyball at Mizzou. Um, she just got married yesterday, but because of me being down here and because of COVID, I was unable to make it. She's one of my best friends. And so um, my, my people are back in Missouri, but uh, we just have a phenomenal fan base here the people are so friendly out here as well and so um i try to just be where my two feet are i think both places have pros and cons um but i'm here now and so uh i, I just got to have my mindset here in az 
Well, that's the answer I always give as well. I'm from Phoenix, Arizona. I love Phoenix, but I love it here in Mid-Missouri as well. So I, I understand the cop-out answer there. you got to please, please both crowds. <laughs> I don't you know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's tough. Well, have you said anything to Devin Booker about not going to Mizzou? Uh, I know a lot of Mizzou fans were hoping he was going to come play for the Tigers, but obviously ended up going to Kentucky. Now he's starring for the Suns. So have you had any conversations with him telling him, hey, what's going on, man? <laughs> you know, they uh... – I have not interacted with him yet this year uh, because they keep our teams very separate because of COVID. But once that's done, we'll all be hanging out and whatnot. But I have talked to his dad, and I, I had to give him a little bit of, you know, what the heck, why did he not come to Mizzou? But, um, no, he's killing it. He's repping the Valley, and, um, you know, the Suns have had such a great year. And so it's kind of fun to support. And his dad went to Mizzou, so there's some type of connection there, you know. Absolutely. And uh, I got to ask you if you have any words for Mark Stein today. He went on social media and talked about how no, no playoff success for, for Phoenix teams. What do what, you, what'd you think? <laughs> um, lack of education. <laughs> um, and, you know, well, that's kind of our fight. Uh, you know, Diana, she has three rings, but, uh, you know, she's still going to do her. We're going to hopefully get a championship there. That'd be awesome if both of us could make playoffs and get a ring this year. That'd be um, an unbelievable thing and a great memory. But, you know, there's so many people up on that social media platform that just aren't educated and kind of say ignorant things. And so you got to take it with a grain of salt, but also try to educate people. But, uh, you know, it's when people watch the women's side of the game, they actually really enjoy it. And so um, I urge you all to keep watching, keep supporting, because um, our league is just getting better and better. Well, I, I was telling you before we went on the air, I'll be in Phoenix in a couple in a couple weeks, and I'm hoping to get out to a, a Mercury game. Uh, I know you guys' next game is Wednesday against Las Vegas. I'm sure you're maybe a little bit jealous it's not in Las Vegas this time around, yeah. but, <laughs> but maybe you'll get to go to Vegas later on in the season. So, uh, Sophie, I really appreciate you, again, taking the time with us, and uh, good luck the rest of the way. We'll be watching. I always try to put your stats up there and, uh, you know, keep doing us proud here. Oh, well, thank you. Uh, you know, I'm trying to rep Missouri as much as I can, and uh, I love y'all, and you guys know that, so uh, it's good to talk to you. All right. Sophie Cunningham, the mayor of Columbia, joining us on Sports Zone. All right. We'll be right back after this.